Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This isn't really going to be a video a tutorial this today. This is mainly a displaying of recorders and good recorders, not bad, but some of them aren't that successful, but they're still good for some people I've heard. So, I'm just going to go through these and give some pros and cons. And yeah, um Hypercam 2. Uh, one con, of course, most recorders have this the watermark when it's not fully registered. And another con is there's bad quality when you record at like a full screen, there, it's not really that great quality. And some pros not laggy at all you can record at full screen not laggy at all no matter like how bad your computer is you could change your uh, resolution down if that helps you and record at full screen like that and um... let me see good sound if you uh... adjust your sound like this 16 bit it's like it sounds just like Camtasia but another con when I put it in the Camtasia studio to produce it, it's like really laggy. So I'm not sure how to produce Hypercam, but I don't really like it. Um, again, it just depends on what you want. There's this uh, mouse, the cursor settings that people like. I'm not sure why, but so it depends on what you want. This one is pretty good. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of people use it, but I don't really recommend it. ZD Soft, I don't recommend it at all, but you can try it. Every single time I start recording with it, my computer just like freezes a, a gray um, screen. So I don't use it, but so I don't really have any pros or cons. I guess a con is it just freezes my computer, but it might not do that for yours. So I don't really have any pros or cons to say about this one. You could try it. BSR definitely a lot of pros. Um, if you click on configure, there's a lot of options. You can a region of the screen. You can do um, a picture in picture, which is like a multiple region. You can do an entire screen, a window, a region of the screen. You can auto pan. You can also use zooming. So like you press F10 to zoom out, and it will zoom out for you. And then, if you want to zoom in, you can press F9. And then you get this little display monitor. And I have to start like recording. Not actually recording, but I have to do this. And you can see this thing. You can't see it really well because I have auto pan for Camtasia. But you can see in there, there's all the like little monitors. And that's because the mouse is going over the monitor which is then displaying the other monitors inside of it so like basically it displays whatever where, like wherever the mouse is so since the mouse is on the monitor it's going to show the monitor inside the video and then inside that monitor there's going to be another one and so on so that's pretty cool I thought and it's not laggy much, it's pretty smooth. Auto pan's nice. It's very smooth. If you look on my um Camtasia tutorial, um I used BSR for that video. So it's fast, easy to use, um you can do watermarks. The watermarks aren't really that great actually. And I think it has its own player and studio. Yeah. And you can take pictures I guess I'm not sure but it's easy to use and it's pretty quick cam studio um, I have two versions this is the regular and this is 2.5 uh, beta uh, I find the beta better but both of them I sometimes get the same problems with the same settings um, when I record for long periods of time maybe like nine minutes or seven minutes the audio jumps ahead of the video so you'll hear audio that you're supposed to hear 
three minutes later so the audio jumps ahead and it will be all mixed up and so that's a con some pro the auto pan's pretty good it's kinda jumpy but it's fast and the recordings are overall smooth not very laggy and it's also easy to use has some good options like for, for people that like cursors again you can hide it, show it, highlight it. Yeah, that stuff. So that's Cam Studio. Many people know about that. So Camtasia. Um, if you saw my tutorial video, you probably know a lot about this. Great, I love this program. Definitely, I think you should use it. And then you got Fraps. Great, you got you can select different F FPS. Uh, great sound recording. Um, but if you have a microphone, it's gonna pick up, if you record sound, it's gonna pick up the sound from your microphone. Screenshots, you can take screenshots in your games if you, if that doesn't let you. And, yeah. If you have the free version, you can only record for 30 seconds too. So that's a con, but you can get the uh, full version from a video. I'll post a link in the description. It's the guy that gave me this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh you can try these try any of these recorders out. Let me know what you think about it and message me back personal message or comment on what you think of these recorders. So thanks for watching and hopefully this helped.